Girl, I look at your paddles and I'm like, if my mom would have had that when we were young, I'm so glad she didn't have access to these, <laughs> these cucharas. <laughs> she did what she could. <laughs> Hello and welcome. Amigos, in today's recipe, I'm going to show you how to make baked culichi enchiladas. If you like poblanos, if you like cream, if you love cheese, you're going to love this recipe. I'm also going to include some alternatives for your protein filling. You'll need some poblano chiles. This recipe pairs best with some shrimp. You can use shrimp or you can use some imitation crab meat. Or real crab meat? Or real crab meat. You can get fancy if you got the dollars. Remove the shell from your shrimp and make sure that you clean your shrimp well. I notice that sometimes you get it on the top and then you get it in the inside and I make sure to remove all of it. I'm just that person. And then I'm just gonna slice them into threes so that way we have some good chunks and we get a good bite. And for those of you that don't have a preference for seafood or are allergic to shrimp, you can always make this dish with a delicious chicken. You can boil it yourself or you can make it super easy by buying one at your local market. Right? They always come in handy. That one looks delicious. This is a move-in special chicken. You know, when you don't have anything in your refrigerator, what am I going to make and I still want to feed my kids healthy? Mm -hmm. You just grab one of these chickens and they just work out so, so good. And they're juicy and just perfect. That's right. Another alternative to fill your enchilada would be to use some imitation crab meat. It's affordable and boom, done. You don't have to do too much, just chop it up. Corn tortillas, your choice of melty cheese, heavy whipping cream, and cotija. If you don't have access to cotija cheese, you can also use Parmesan cheese. It's a little bit stronger when you cook with it, but it's gonna work great with this recipe. Some of you don't have access to heavy whipping cream, go ahead and grab some half and half. And if you choose to use some milk, it's just gonna be a little bit runnier, but we are gonna be using some flour in this recipe, so you're gonna be okay to continue with the milk. Black pepper and chicken bouillon. I am using the better than bouillon, but if you guys are using the Nor chicken bouillon, make sure to look in the description area, which I'm gonna give you my suggestions and extra details. Flour, butter, onion, and garlic. You're also gonna need some cilantro, and I just grab half a bunch of my bundle, and you can use more or less. It's just gonna be up to you, just so you have an idea of how much I'm using, and I don't think you guys want me to count stems for this one, and if you do, let me know in the comments, because you know I don't mind. After you've prepped your ingredients, you want to roast your peppers. Amigos, when I'm roasting the peppers, I tend to move them around. I try to see what part of that little rack is warmer, and I just go about it that way. I move them around. And remember to roast your peppers kindly. Take it easy. It's not those Comedy Central roastings. Although I love those too. <laughs> I love when you roast these and the ashes just fall into my hair and my face. I feel like... Popo capetel up in here, like the, the, the eruption is happening. The girl, explode. <laughs> <laughs> Amigos, if you know that my heart was aching a while back, and all I've been talking about is how much I miss uh, my chiles, roasting peppers, and this is comforting my soul, just like your comments on our last video. So thank you all so much for being part of the Views Club, and if you're not, make sure to subscribe and click uh, that bell for notifications. Our peppers look right about done they do now it's time to place them into a bowl or a bag all we want to do is find a nice little snug spot where we can let them sweat okay paper bag will do right paper bag will do it's up to you friends make it comfortable for your home i know a lot about pepper these days because i spent 18 hours in a car with you and all you did was talk about chiles 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 and more chiles and peppers and peppers and chiles <laughs> I did say, you know what I'm craving right now? Some the, some roasted, and then I'd start from there, and then with the salsa, that spicy, spicy salsa, and the spicy aguachile, aguachile all year long, every day. That's how we do it. All right, friends, place the lid on it, seal your bag, and on to the next. There are the ashes we're speaking about. So beautiful. El popocatépetl. They just add character to the aesthetic. Are you having fun with that? Yes. <laughs> ¿Qué buscas? El aceite. Watch out, Cloud. They want to know what's in your cabinets. <laughs> oh, oh, really? Who wants to know what's in Cloud's cabinets right now? No, don't right play now. me like that. No, no, no. <laughs> All right, friends. Everything you have in your cabinets, I have in mine. Of course. Whatever I have, you have. And whatever I have, you have. That's right. That's how it should be within family. There is no competition, amigos. Set your pan on a medium heat. Oops, wrong one. There is competition. 
what competition? Who loves each other more? We yeah, get that's into that about, part. Yeah, yeah that's, that's the only way we're toxic, girl. <laughs> At least with each other, that is the only way we're toxic. Set your pan on a medium heat. I have some flimsy corn tortillas, and if I don't fry them up first, they're going to fall apart. But if you're watching your diet, and you're watching your cholesterols, and your oils, you guys just have to warm them up for this part. All right, I have a little tip for you from Ruthia Cloud. If you get one of these containers, you can use the top for your tortilla stand. No need to dirty another dish because everyone that knows me knows I hate to clean, but I do it anyway. Boom, done. <laughs> <laughs> I count with you. Let's you take your tortilla from your tortilla stand and place it into the oil. We're going to let it fry up a few seconds. Coat it. I like how leveled your stove is. Thanks, Mika. <laughs> oh yeah, some people put their tortilla in the microwave, but I don't use a microwave ever. I don't use a microwave ever on random occasion, once in a long time on vacation. If I see a microwave like at a hotel or something like that, I'll use it for popcorn, but I don't use it. Friends. So when I go on vacation with you, I run outside and wait for you to finish using the microwave. Yep, I, I don't use a microwave, <laughs> amigos. But thank you all so much for leaving those suggestions for those that do. Um, I have nothing against those that use it. I just personally um, trying to get my health in order. I'm getting older. I'm almost going to be 40, friends. Some of us have traumas from putting aluminum in the microwave. <laughs> <laughs> Girls, that's just like just Ashton. friends. <laughs> Ashton, my mean pun. That's such a hilarious movie. I love that movie. If you guys love that movie, Just Friends, let us know in the comments and let us know what your favorite part is. Or message me on IG so we can have a little chat. Yes, yes. For those of you that know. I'm going to continue with the remaining tortillas. Hang tight, amigos. We're going to roll. We are going to roll. After you've allowed your poblanos to sweat, you can just peel them off like this. Sometimes I do run it through the water in the sink. Ooh, what a crime. It's a crime. I know some of you get upset that it loses flavor. And I don't... I, I guess I have a good hand. The flavor's still in the food. It is. You got me twisted over you. ¿Qué got this eso? El key sweat. Mm-hmm. Just let's just let them do the key sweat in here. <laughs> My voice is a little off. Today. Cause I'm not gonna be here for long. Ooh, ooh! Finish it in the comments. Finish it in the comments. <laughs> no, we have to sing it right. How does the song go? You know, you oh, know, you are my love. You got me twisted, oh, girl. Okay. You got me twisted. Okay, so once you peel them, we're going to use a uh, cloud's lid to just place our chiles. We'll look at a tortilla holder, <laughs> place your chiles, and... Would you start pretty. calling things mine? They're ours. They are ours, yes. and um, pretty much what Cloud has, I have. I know that a lot of you were asking about Cloud's pans. I purchased them in blue, and I love them. I'll have to show you guys soon, and Cloud linked it in the last video. You're going to have to link it here as well, Cloud. Thank you I, so much. You're welcome. I did, but they're currently out of stock, um, but I'll leave some tips where you can find them. Outside yes. Of Amazon. Yep. We'll tell you exactly where we found some real big pot, and I love it. Me encanta, me encanta. We'll show you the one, two, three step. Yep. So just remove, if you find uh, some of your peppers that have that vein that's super uh, yellow or bright orangey, that means it's going to be a little bit spicier. If you're peeling your pepper and you start coughing because it got spicy, that means that you got the, it, you got the winner. You got the winner. I was about to say that. <laughs> so if you, don't, if you don't like it, just set it to the side and remove as many of the seeds as you can. Um, I don't tend to get a bitter taste when I blend with the seeds, so... Do the best you can, amigos. I know that you are all busy and occupied with your families at the moment, and I love that. So we are making these recipes a lot easier, but we're still hanging out. Hey, hey. Congratulations to all the new parents. You're in for a delicious treat. Yes. Enjoy the moments. It's stressful. It's wild, but there's no better rush than being a parent. It's mostly beautiful. Oh, it is. We're gonna add a little bit of our heavy whipping cream and we're gonna start blending uh, in order to make our sauce. You're gonna add your poblano peppers, your roasted poblano peppers, cilantro, onions, and your garlic. And now I'm using a Vitamix blender and I'm gonna blend this. I'm gonna start low and go all the way to a 10. I'm gonna blend it for about 45 seconds to a minute. But if you guys have a different type of blender, you might need a little bit longer, just enough until you get a, a very smooth consistency. Wow, Raji. Raji's busy <laughs> over there, everybody. El pulgoso. <laughs> pulgoso, yeah, right. Not my pequeño lindo boy. <laughs> Ooh. 
And boom, done, amigos. Now it's time to heat up our sauce. Set your pan on a medium heat and add your butter. If you don't have access to butter and you have margarine, you can use margarine for this part. Once your butter melts, you're gonna add your flour. I'm using all-purpose flour. You wanna move quickly. Be careful that if you're using butter, you do not burn your butter. If you burn your butter, you're gonna have to start this process all over again. So it's best to have a medium heat and move quickly. Once you add your flour and you've incorporated it into your butter, allow that to cook for about 15 to 20 seconds. Make sure to move it around just like this. A circular motion like a hula hoop. <laughs> yeah, I said hula hoop and you're ready for it. <laughs> Mahalo, friends. <laughs> Add your heavy whipping cream and all of that delicious sauce we just blended. How beautiful. Mix all your ingredients together and you see all that sauce there? I'm just gonna add a little bit of water, shake it up and add it right back into this pan. And for the amount of water, it's gonna be about one fourth of water, hardly any. Ooh, 111. And I'm using it in the same measuring cup that I had in my heavy whipping cream because we still had a little bit of cream in there. Next, add your bouillon of choice, black pepper, add your cotija cheese. Continue to combine your ingredients and I'm gonna to continue to cook our sauce on a medium low heat for two minutes. A lot of you don't wanna make enchiladas because it gets messy and to be honest, that's one of my favorite parts. Not other messy foods, but this particular one, I like to get my hands into it. So what I like to do is I like to keep the plate that I warm my tortillas in and then I just dip, roll, and boom, done. So let me show you exactly how I do that so that you can make it comfortable for your home. Ooh, this sauce is divine, friends. What you wanna do is get your tortilla and dip it good, okay? Just like this, coat it, bring your plate in. You're gonna add your shrimp and I'm using raw shrimp because we don't want rubbery shrimp. Cloud already is giving me the eye because she knows how I get. But if you don't have a preference for it, you can warm them up on your pan, cook them up a little bit. If you're using pre-cooked shrimp, you can use that. You're just gonna get a different style. Bring in your sauce and you can lick your finger, you know, that's it's up Only to you. Only if you're making food for yourself, obviously. Well, I can't do it now because Cloud's already put me on the spot. Let me rinse my, <laughs> let me rinse my hand on me. Now we're gonna roll it up nice and snug. Ooh, 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 I, I really feel this baby. Apparently I'm so hungry and excited I forgot to put a little bit of the sauce at the bottom. That's why I'm here to remind you. <laughs> I got hungry. The sauce makes me go nuts. You can just pour this over rice. You can use some, you know, potatoes. You can make this, you know, sauce and freeze it. If you need to hypnotize someone. You can use this sauce. It's para todos. Let me just do the electric slide over here. That's twice in one week. What, the electric slice? Reference. The electric slice. <laughs> you know what, I'm proud that I still remember how to do that. <laughs> Friends, bear with me here, bear with me. You know, sometimes cooking with cloud can be fun and sometimes you guys get this that's happening right here. And I'm pretty sure this happens in your kitchens too, right? Yes, don't sit us together because we always promise not to giggle and we always do. Cloud has jokes today. Sorry, friends. You guys know how it gets with sisters here. Go ahead and dip your tortilla and I'm just gonna continue to do the same thing. This gentle shrimpy version is for Cloud. We're only gonna be using about five pieces of shrimp. That's already too heavy, but that's fine. A few specks of cheese. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Up on your head. And then you're gonna roll it up if you wanna make it perfect for yourselves. There you go, that's my style. I'm gonna hold you to it. Mm -hmm. You're gonna take some of your delicious sauce and you're gonna pour it over the top. Make sure to cover your ends because those get crispy. And for the adults it's fine, but for the kids it's difficult for them to cut through that. I appreciate that tip. Views Club Junior, I love you. Special shout out to Leo. I see you cooking in the kitchen with your mama. And I love it. Good job, corazón. He's so beautiful. He's so gorgeous. I love all the Views Club Junior. You guys really are what makes this world worth living. You two parents, don't get jealous. <laughs> we love you too, Mrs. <laughs> now you're going to pour some of that cheese over the top. 
Set your oven at 380 degrees and we are gonna bake these enchiladas for about 20 to 25 minutes. It's gonna depend on your oven most of the time. So just until you see the bubbling of the cheese and it's nice and warm, then you're gonna be ready. And no, this isn't the only amount that I've made. We do have chicken, because uh, some of our family members have a preference for the chicken one. And friends, if you just have the chicken and you dip it into the sauce, ooh, I think, I think a lot of places should have this sauce to dip some nuggets in it. <laughs> I have a question for you. Yes, honey. Uh, can we double this recipe? Yes, you can double this recipe. I'm going to link a video to the culichi recipe in the description area, and that gives you more of a sauce quantity. I made that one just a little bit different, but it's also the same ingredients. So it's just the steps are a little bit different. Thank you. Ready to bake. Keto family, you asked me a lot for keto recipes. If you're using your poblano peppers, you're looking at about, uh, I want to say five net uh, carbs for per poblano. It's nine, but if you guys are deducting your fibers, um, then you're looking at like five, and it also depends on your size. But what you can do is to the sauce, you can just add your chicken and mix it around, okay? And for those that need a quick recipe and don't have time to place it in the oven, let me show you what you can do. Dip your tortilla into your sauce. Bring it on over, place your chicken, add your cheese, and roll it up. More of the traditional style of enchiladas, but you guys know I like them baked. The reason I don't like making enchiladas like this, it just pops everywhere, it gets so sloppy. This is something <laughs> you want to do outside when you're sitting on a bonfire with your family, you know? Yes, I do know. <laughs> I miss those days. Yeah, it'll take about a minute and a half, two max. And this sauce over here is nice and warm, so you don't have to worry about that. And boom, done. I have a little taste tester that wants to give this one a go. You want to say hello to our friends? I haven't seen hello. you in a long time. I haven't done this in a while. <laughs> <laughs> you mean being in front of the camera? Yeah. <laughs> you can bring your plate up so that way you don't spill it on yourself, baby. Or I can hold it for you. That's good. Is it spicy? Mm -hmm. No, it's not actually spicy at all. Do you like the chicken or the shrimp best? I like the chicken best. The chicken best? Mm -hmm. I didn't really taste the shrimp. There's no shrimp in here. I only did chicken for you. <laughs> I got you good. <laughs> so I like the chicken and my favorite part about this is the sauce. The, the sauce? Chicken. You know what? You're like your mother. This is one of my favorite sauces, friends. It is divine. Bebe, do you want to do you want to wait for the shrimp or do you want a taste of the chicken one? Here he comes. Bebe, for some reason I want to feed you. Can I feed you? I want to feed him too all the time. <laughs> all right, it's going to be a big one. Blow on it, blow on it, blow on it. No? Oh, it's hot, hot. What do you think? You like this one or the shrimp? This one? Okay. Do you want to <laughs> say hi to everybody? They haven't seen you in a while. They haven't seen you with glasses. They haven't... With the, your hair cut and then now it's growing <laughs> back. It's been a long time, honey. You know? <laughs> he said, I'm trying to eat. Okay, you. baby. You can go and hang out. Go we're, do back, you. we're back in the country. You're back in the You're country. You're back in the All country. Right. So happy. And boom, done, friends. I am ready for a taste. How about you? I'm ready. All right, let's see how this goes for my lift. Now I've had the time of my life. And boom, done, friends. As always, Views Club and Bell Notification Squad, Claude and I are wishing you the best. We absolutely adore you. And on that one, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Adios. Who's ready for a taste? Say ah. Uh. Kids, you didn't say huh? Ah. <laughs> mm, mm, mm. And boom, done. You need to be careful because this goes by quick. I do have a tip for you. My tip is to take it easy on your bouillon when you're adding it to your sauce. With this particular sauce, it's very easy to over salt it. So 
take it easy you can always add but you can't take away I'll leave my suggestions for what I'm using but for you guys that are using uh, other bullions the powder bullions take it easy okay we will and by easy use the clouds hand not mine <laughs> mm -mm -mm. Thank you, thank you. Um, I already know the answer to this, but the Views Club wants to know if you're pregnant because you got a lot of congratulations yesterday and that had me rolling. <laughs> I loved it. I'm going to say this, Views Club, how dare you? <laughs> <laughs> no, but I do eat like a pregnant woman, right? I change up the flavors, but no, I'm not pregnant. As I mentioned on Instagram, if you guys want to follow us, it's Views on the Road. I mentioned to you guys the only baby that I have is a food baby, a holiday food baby, a Korean lettuce wrap uh, baby, a roasted Korean camote baby. That's about it. Although everybody's manifesting babies for me. Why? But congratulations for handling that like a champ. Oh, this enchilada? Mm -hmm. No, mm -hmm. the pregnancy news. The rumor. <laughs> You guys need a quick play. <laughs> Bye friends, we love you and we'll see you very soon. Quieres que me porte como el cepillín todavía para acabarla de joder? Cepillín. Yes, you know what I'm thinking about. Cepillín. Yes, and I'm very scared. Not a bad idea. I need a little pick me up. No, I regret making you that iced coffee. Why? Because you have enough energy for the world. Yes, the other night I was up for hours when you had learned. Interesting. Cuando me pusiste el estate quieto. Cuando te regañé, mija. Sí, me regañaste. Views Club, you know what I'm talking about. You're under curfew. Why, well, I've been summoned? <laughs> You've been summoned to high court for treason. Don't you ever wake me up again. Girl, let's finish these enchiladas. <laughs> and all you need is some chunks. Not chunks, chunks. Chunks, yes, chunks. Guys, I have Invisalign and, you know, well, we're not going to get into Your it. Your teeth are looking great. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And some soap. <laughs> <laughs> floor it, floor it, Cloud, floor it. <laughs> uh, I post out on Instagram. I guess it's leaked your personal stuff. You think you're cute. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. Over you. Oh, you're not going to shout out Keith Sweat this time? <laughs> I don't know if Keith Sweat ever watches this. Hello, thank you for getting me through the 90s when I had nothing to do with love, but apparently I thought I was cool. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was way too young to be singing your song, sir. <laughs> With all due respect. <laughs> With all due wonderful respect. You're starting to sound like how our mother did when we were younger, apologizing for our behavior. <laughs> <laughs> Am I? Oh my gosh. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Friends. Disculpenlas. Discul Disculpen a mis niñas. No sean tan burlescas. Because <laughs> we're always laughing at everything that we shouldn't have been laughing at. Ourselves, everything. And you know, sometimes when you laugh that way, people think you're laughing at them. We're, we're just joyous people. Yeah, we're laughing at ourselves most of the time. It's fun. I think that when you're in your own little world and somebody else takes insult to your jokes, it's like it wasn't even about you. And then that's when you apologize. Girl, I look at your paddles and I'm like, if my mom would have had that when we were young, I'm so glad she didn't have access to these, <laughs> these cucharas. <laughs> she did what she could. What is it that? <laughs>